how long should you rest your barbecue chicken for? And should it be uncovered, loosely covered, tightly covered? Every recipe seems to have a different suggestion. So today we're gonna to put it to the test to find the best resting method that gives us the juiciest chicken while retaining crispy skin. So for this experiment, we've got three chickens each weighing 1.5 kilograms. So we're gonna get them on the grill until they reach an internal temperature of 70 degrees. We'll then take the chicken off the grill and rest them in three different ways. Now the chicken should continue to cook during the rest. So we'll monitor the temperature, see whether the resting method affects the maximum temperature that they reach and how long it takes them to come down to 60 degrees, at which point we'll take them off and do a taste test. Get our temperature probes in. Okay, gonna double up, get a meter in there. Okay, so all three chickens are at 70 degrees. We've got 70, 70, and 71, so we're gonna get them off and get them resting. So this one we're tightly covering in aluminum foil. This one we're gonna leave uncovered. And then this one we're gonna loosely cover, just tensing it with a bit of aluminum foil. Sort of wrap it under. Just kind of like that. Very loosely covered, the aluminum foil is not really touching much of the chicken. So we're going to move this inside and then wait until it comes down to 60 degrees. So the uncovered chicken was the first one to come down to 60 degrees. Before I try it, in terms of crispy skin, we got a little bit of crisp in places, but it's definitely not as much crisp as I'd like. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit of thigh meat. Looks good. Yeah, the skin is definitely a little bit, a little bit rubber. Definitely not as uh, crispy as I'd like. Mmm, juicy though, really good. Yeah, good. So next up we've got the chicken that was lightly tented in foil. This one definitely didn't get any crispy skin, I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of thigh meat. Mmm, nowhere near as juicy as this one. Yeah, much drier. Now lastly we've got the chicken that was tightly covered in foil. Again, we didn't get much crispy skin, so the crispiest skin was definitely on the uncovered chicken. But let's try a little bit of the thigh and see whether it makes up for it in how juicy it is. Mmm, yeah, really juicy. So looking at the data from the fireboard, we can see the amount of carryover cooking on all three chickens was about the same. Each chicken increased temperature by about six to seven degrees while resting. But we can see where they differ significantly is in how long it took them to come down to 60 degrees. The chicken that was unwrapped took about 30 minutes to come down from 70 to 60 degrees. The chicken that was loosely tented in aluminum foil took about 46 minutes. And the chicken that was tightly wrapped in aluminum foil took 72 minutes to come down to 60 degrees. Now, this is interesting because the chicken that was unwrapped had the crispiest skin, whereas the chicken that was tightly wrapped in aluminum foil had the most rubbery skin. And yet the chicken that was tightly wrapped was the juiciest and the chicken that was unwrapped was the least juicy. So how we rest a chicken seems to be a compromise between crispy skin and how juicy the meat is. So it seems as though the compromise we make when resting chicken is that the tighter we cover it, the juicier it's gonna be, but we're gonna lose some of that crispy skin. Whereas if we leave the chicken uncovered, we have a better chance of retaining crispy skin, but it's not going to be as juicy. However, there are a few things that you can do to make chicken skin even crispier, and I'd highly recommend watching this video where I tested, I think, 11 different methods to make chicken skin crispy, everything from using a hairdryer to cornstarch, duck fat, baking powder, and you could potentially use one of those methods to offset the effect on the chicken skin from the resting method. You can watch the next video in this series on leveling up your barbecue chicken by clicking or tapping on the screen. And if you enjoyed this experiment, remember to subscribe to the channel to get a weekly experiment where I test something barbecue related to help you level up your barbecue knowledge.